Huh? Chris, your father shaved his head. Huh? Yeah, it was getting quite messy. Has Percy come round yet? Nope. I want to read you something that I read in the paper the other day. Daniel Radcliffe is eyeing up his next movie role, playing Marty McFly in a remake of Back to the Future. The Harry Potter actor is desperate for the part if the film's makers decide to bring back the 1985 time travelling hit. No. 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 You do not remake a classic such as Back to the Future. Don't get me wrong, I quite like the actor, but Martin McFly is American, Radcliffe is not. And to remake this would to be destroy a legacy. Why mess with perfection? And who would play Doc Brown? Russell Brand? Please don't give them ideas. I tell you now, if they do remake it, I'll be one of millions of people who would boycott it. Jeez. What's next? A remake of Star Wars? I said stop giving them ideas. You know what George Lucas is like? <laughs> Talking of remakes, there's a new one coming out soon. Total Recall. Yes, the Arnie film. But with Colin Farrell. Seriously, check out the link below for the trailer if you don't believe me. You'll find that the film looks like a carbon copy of the original up until about two thirds of the way through. Yes, there are some dazzling special effects. Kate Beckinsale plays the bad girl. Jessica Biel is the love interest. But none of that matters. Generally, remakes are bad, but this looks really terrible. Like catching Vanessa Fels with the knickers down. Bent over, with toilet paper hanging from her. We get the picture, you dirty bugger! <laughs> Again, I have two films for you. I know, I'm like buses. I don't show up for a while and then two come at the same time. Don't judge me. The first film is Battleship, and for what it is, it's a pretty decent film. Based on the game, they managed to incorporate that into the story. However, it did seem a little far-fetched, as did some of the action. There are plenty of cliches in the film, but I was very impressed with the alien ships and the weapons they used. There is some confusion in the final act where you've got one character trying to communicate with another character through the shield, but it soon clears up. I do recommend seeing it as I give it a... and a pudding. The second film is The Cabin in the Woods. I don't want to give too much away, but it starts off like there's two separate films in one. At first I thought you were being let into the secret far too early, but as it moves along you start to realise that it was the wise choice to do that. It doesn't take long for the horror parts to kick in, but there is much more than that. There is plenty of humour in it too. Some of it does become cheesy, but I think they did that on purpose. It is definitely one to see and I give it a... Yeah, I'll throw a pudding in with that too. I think Percy's coming around. Oh. You alright there, Percy? <laughs> yeah, I know, it's a bit extreme, but I like it. Well, it's time for me to go. I'll be back very soon with another episode of Smeg Chris Review. In the meantime, check out my main show, Smeg Chris, my latest short film, A Writer's Process, Agony Smeg, where I deal with problems, and on my second channel, where I post all my vlogs. Until the next time, peace out. I think mine too. Ugh. Huh.